Hey man, it's the ISO God sense hey, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And guess what, man? The Stretch Big himself. You know, you know, I've been telling y'all about Stretch Bigs and screen abusers. They're they're, they're just they're they're and weird people man and never trust a post score either i've been telling y'all that for years bro years it has now been revealed that power is a modern day super villain power gate yeah <laughs> is here you know he he one of them uh minecraft uh smash brother uh youtubers man i've been telling y'all man so um uh, anywho man make sure y'all subscribe if you're new watch this whole video man the sole intentions of this video is to just clown this and roast the them and um have fun <laughs> because they're, they're, there's there's too many sympathizers man y'all Oh, I hope he doesn't do nothing to himself. He doesn't get his channel. Oh, man, shut up, bro. This master manipulator. I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to react to a lot of things. This a master manipulator, bro. He don't care about nobody, bro. He's a sociopath. And y'all don't really know who he really is. So all these people keep trying to give him all this advice and these outs. Which, like, what What if he's way worse? Like, you know, what if he's like, you know, like, you know, like he's one of those. And it's like, then you're teaching him how to hide his dirt. Instead of letting him handle it himself, you being manipulated just like everyone else calling him master. Tweeting out that they his everybody's info this master doxer he got everybody's in <laughs> he got everybody's information no one know no one's ever seen this nigga or nothing bro it's crazy man but anywho man look at this man this nigga power is is a trick bro he was tricking on these df niggas who knows how long he was tricking on these niggas you know but he he, he sent this nigga 1500 right Look at this. He sent this nigga double 1500. Power, you out here tricking on these niggas? Then you want to send them 10K? Come on, I know I know you buying pussy. Well, you, you're definitely not. But I know one day, bro, you're going to be one of those buying that pussy, nigga. Because you can't get it. It's tough, man. You, you out here tricking on niggas. That's crazy. Anywho, man, we going to react to a bunch of different vids and i'm gonna really explain what power is really doing bro like the what it really means a lot of y'all don't understand this bro like with that whole grinding shit bro look 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 i'm gonna break it down to you bro that you 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 guys don't understand how deep it is it's not oh you betrayed me but bro grinding is on the pathway to become a potential millionaire do y'all know that? So what he did, that could have altered his whole course of life, right? He could have just fell off and just, all it takes is one thing to change everything, bro. He could have changed that for him. That's a big deal, bro. And envy never leaves. That's Oh, get back together, y'all. It's a, a multi. It could be a million dollar business phase of la la la. Bro, envy never leaves. So he gonna get that nigga one way, you know. And no one should have to deal with that nasty energy, bro. But anywho, man, let's get into the goddamn vid. Make sure you drop a like if you agree. Power needs to go. And the nigga did not delete his channel, bro. He he just hit it, man. And he did the same with his Twitter. That nigga will be back. I think a guy like Lex had bad intentions. Power, how did I have <laughs> bad intentions? Hey, shout, shout out to Luck. This is video, man. We just gonna react to parts of it. And um, yeah. From day one when I joined the clan, my intent to the clan was to help everyone. I helped you when I could have left. Damn. Bro, listen to this master super villain, my nigga. Listen to this. To the clan was to help everyone. I helped you when I could have left you at your all time lowest. You have to do heart attack. This you have to go on stream and embarrass you because that's the only way you can do embarrass you do something you should have been doing. I'm not embarrassed. Oh, yeah, you are. I believe in everything I say. <laughs> okay, leave the clan then. If you don't want to do it, bro. Wait, 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 bro. Listen to this, bro. This nigga that has never 
been inside a female is bitching niggas. He trying to, shout out to you luck for standing 10 toes, nigga. 10 toes. That nigga went on stream and violated you. You're embarrassed now, blah, 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 blah. Like what? Dog, don't ever let these internet niggas do you like that. I guarantee you if luck ain't have no clout, bro, he would have took that abuse, bro, and let a nigga bitch him. Never let nobody bitch you in life, nigga. You should not have to live with that, bro. It don't matter what you think is going to take you to the next position, bro. Don't let no nigga bitch you, nigga. That's all you got in life, bro. Is you, bro. Stand on what you are, bro. Don't ever let no nigga or no bitch bitch you, bro. I said, I told everybody what you did. If yo, yo, the fact that he got this like evil screenshot, nigga, like what? Y'all, y'all DF niggas, y'all niggas be editing yo ass off, nigga. Like he, he put in his profile picture while he's talking. Like this is hilarious. Why are you uncomfortable with everybody knowing that you are unwilling okay, to give people understand tell, your okay, phone power, number? Listen, can I make a Look, did you hear what he said? Why are you uncomfortable with everyone in the clan? What? Phone number. This is over a, f all this happened over a phone number. Of course, there's way more things and way more that we're never going to find out. But y'all not listen to this. This nigga's on a power hungry trip. Y'all niggas think the niggas that talk and act like me are the biggest egotistical niggas. When that's not true, we the most honest, realest niggas, bro. The niggas that try to push that positive agenda and like, you know, the Mr. Beast types, them niggas be the, they be the evil super villains, nigga. The niggas that try and be like all positive and talk about brotherhood and all that humble, like all this, like trying to give back and all that. Those be the fakest, craziest, wildest niggas. And the quietest niggas are the ones you got to watch the most, bro. Them niggas is plotting, bro. They're, they're manipulating you. A lot of these niggas with the numbers, numbers don't make you a better person, bro. Y'all have to realize, bro, the niggas with the numbers are usually the greatest manipulators. This whole YouTube thing, all this shit is the greatest. Who's the best at manipulating the masses? That's what it is, bro. And y'all don't even realize that, bro. So a lot of these niggas with these numbers are master manipulator and y'all just have no idea you can't sense it bro I, I don't know like you you just wasn't raised right like you don't your spidey senses ain't tingling man let's keep going this all over a phone number bro and one 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 more thing man bro i've had so many 2k creators beg me for my phone number and i would not give it out because i know you can do shit with a number bro right and I know they want my personal information. For some reason, they're like obsessed with me. Even though they got way more clout than me now and then, they just, they want the information of the swan. Back in the day, when I did give someone like one of my numbers, they like pulled some information off of it. And like, like luckily it wasn't me, but bro, this same thing happened to me. Like what they're saying power did to them, this same thing happened to me, but luckily it wasn't me. It's like, bro, you're weird. You are weird, bro. That is crazy. And y'all would never know. They got like, oh, they got like 500K plus, right? I'm telling you these, these house niggas, these gamers, they are weird, bro. They're weird. And the only reason I gave the nigga my shit is because he was crying over a bitch and I had to help the nigga and console him and save his life. It's crazy, right? A video and tell people the reason I don't give my number is because you research people's private information? Yep, go ahead and tell them that. Go ahead and tell them that. Okay. There was a lot of you created this and you created a lot of these issues. Don't make me end you. I have so much <laughs> stuff under my sleeve. Now for those of you guys... Don't make me end you. I have so much stuff all up under my sleeves. What? What? What the fuck is going on? And yeah, like, bro, the, the DF niggas I have problems with, I think they they like quit YouTube. I don't I don't even remember this luck nigga. This I don't know where he just 
got a bunch of clout. Same with the double and the solo guy. Like I, I, I don't even know them, you know. So it's like, yeah, like I, I don't have no problem with them niggas. But shout out to y'all for uh, <laughs> putting this power nigga down. If all this shit is real, man, you know, because all, all of this could have been to just promote some uh, IRL team house. And, you know, it, the truth's just never going to come out. But, you know, just contracts type shit. But I don't think so, man. It's, it seemed kind of real, man. 15 years old. Now, if we do the math, that is literally four years of DF. So I know before I actually go into detail, I want to clear something right now, okay? Yes, power helped me. I will never discredit for what he has done yeah. for me. Yes, power yeah. has taught me a lot. Yes, yeah. I have said a lot yeah. of good things about DF. And I will never take... One, one thing about power, bro, that nigga is a clout maker. After that nigga Hank gave him all that clout in 17, y'all, you know, that nigga be making niggas. I know y'all do y'all doing your thing, but that nigga, that nigga offered, like, that nigga, I don't know what, like, how he did it. I don't really be paying too much attention, but he, like, super clouted niggas, like, all around them and, like, gets them while they're, like, you know, like, while they got, like, nothing and then... All them niggas blow up, but, you know, th this is a good reason to, you know, flip on the nigga, bro. You know, usually it's not really a good reason, but th this shit is crazy, bro. Um, You know, so I can understand if y'all don't really want to talk about it, because he did, you know, give you a, a pathway to, you know, potentially, like, become a millionaire. Like, that. this is what this internet shit is, but it's like... It's like when a nigga do too much, like you, 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 you gotta, you gotta say your side, bro. You know this nigga, he was on stream bashing y'all shit, you know. So you gotta do it, and he was doing like a lot of weird, like um Norman, like school threat shit, bro. So it's like you gotta, you know that nigga presidential bomber, like you, you, you got to at that point, bro. Like it's, it's, it's mad weird. Say everything that he has been saying is 100% a lie and I'm going to back every single thing up in this video I know he's a liar. I know how he is and it's the truth He doesn't like to know that he's a liar He likes to force himself to accept those lies that he tries to push out on people But deep down inside he knows what he's done So the real reason I was removed for like the eighth time is gonna sound funny I was actually removed for not giving out my number What and the fuck? I never wanted to take things public <laughs> until he literally left me with no choice He started a stream and he started bashing my name yo where is that stream bro look they finna have this thing of power talk with it with his my player that shit is hilarious you're gonna have to say goodbye we are gonna remove you and we're gonna add people in your clan that are serious about moving this clan bro do you hear this do y'all hear his tone bro bro him and annoying sound so crazy annoying's like changed his tone over like the years but Bro, like hearing someone talk like this, before I started like playing video games and like, well, I've always played video, but before I was like on the internet and shit, I've never like really heard people sound like this. Like this sounds crazy to me. Like this nigga sounds like a fucking computer, like nerd super villain, bro. That just like sends massive swats like he sounds like listen to this and that's the rest of the i talked about them multiple times i've given them four years, years to get comfortable with people in the clan shit we helped some of these people build their whole plot do y'all hear this bro it's bro bro this shit sounds crazy <laughs> like bro like even even though you we help some of these people build their whole platforms like he he's speaking facts but no nigga gotta give you they fucking number nigga they nigga y'all could communicate through discord skype all these different you don't need a nigga's number bro for what platform ah power stop there bro stop he he could get a fake number from like an app or something like that that's what nigga should have did up right there like seriously just stop stop that just stop what you're saying you know damn well when it comes to df every a Google number? Like, niggas ain't thinking that shit? Like, what is the problem? Everybody, including you, who has been selfish while they've been in this clan, acting like they want people to succeed when they really want them to fail. You even mm. told me yourself that if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be where you're at. Hey, hey, I'm gonna tell you that right there. A lot of people do stuff like that to really mold you to, to get your loyalty and to make you feel important so you can be manipulated. 
that don't mean he really think that. You feel me? I'm just letting y'all know, bro. A lot of y'all, y'all don't know about dark psychology. Like y'all don't, y'all don't know the tactics of psychology and manipulating, and all this. This is some deep shit, bro. Like that ass. So how did you make my career when you've said it multiple times? You praised me. You've said it. Yes, you have helped. Bro, I don't even send paragraphs like that to my bitch. I'm be sucking and fucking, nigga. That shit crazy. Me. How do you have the nerve to say you've made my platform, <laughs> knowing damn well we both helped each other? Now on his stream, he said that I would never give out my number, which that is a whole complete lie. You can go ahead and kick me if you really want. I'm not giving my number today. In the clip. Talk your shit. What? Fuck that nigga. Fuck that nigga. You can hear, I literally said, <laughs> I will give my number out, but I am not giving it out Dude, today. He told me that I had to the end of the day to make a decision if I was giving out my number. So I'm going to give you guys. You got to the end of the day, bro. Power be trying to bitch niggas, man. What? What? How many of y'all will fold? How many of y'all will fold? I know a lot of y'all will fold. A lot of y'all will say you wouldn't. But you would, bro. And that's what's sad about this world. Just because this nigga got numbers. This nigga lame. You could probably stuff this nigga in lockers and shit, bro. That's crazy, dude. Fuck that, bro. That's to the end of the day, just to think about it. That's then so I'm dumb. Gonna... I'm sorry, that's dumb. Yeah, it's it's weird, my decision as the leader. I'm not going to ask the consent. Like, look, abusing his power as a leader, respect my privacy. Like, it's his privacy, bro. Like, come on, that shit is weird, bro. People. Before he left the Discord, I told him that I was not going to give out my number in that day. I didn't tell him I would never. So he ended up removing me from the clan chat, and that was the end. So I'm removed. Yeah. That's where you not the give best. me my number. Okay, left. I, I, I don't know why you're arguing with this. All right, I removed you from the chat. You can take it out of your name if you want. So later on <laughs> into the day, I ended up getting in a call with Solo, Grinding, Uzi, Clutch, just to keep this clan alive. And he ended up joining and asked if he missed anything. So I missed anything? No, what the not. fuck? This thing of power popping up on niggas this thing is a villain bro what the fuck bro i bet you, i bet you did niggas hearts was like boo 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 like nigga what this is crazy i still don't i'm still confused i'm, I'm really am power i'm still confused it's okay like I, i'm confused how first off you dm me say we're brothers and i'm one of the best friends you ever had and you appreciate everything i've done and then you go on stream and you're like oh it's not great let me tell y'all something, nigga. The nigga that hurts you, the nigga that betrays you, the nigga that's passionately wants your demise, it's never gonna be a random person. It's always gonna be that nigga closest to you. It's gonna be one of them niggas. It's gonna be a few of them niggas. This world shit really fake. 90% of you niggas listening to my voice right now are fake. Grinding, it's not not solo it's not henry it's not these people you're throwing me under the dirt when i literally didn't say i'm not throwing you in the bus i'm saying what listen, you did listen 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 if you could show me where because i know you recorded it i know anything. how you are you show me show me the where i said show me right now power yeah. listen talk let me talk i'm not okay, showing let you me anything talk. let me you talk have a decision to make okay, i'm not letting you talk listen on stream on stream you Bro, took the words out of my mouth and you mixed it now i told him myself i am still confused and i do not accept the fact that he went on stream and did what he did i did not want to take this public at all he said that he went on stream and told everybody what i did and he asked me why are you uncomfortable with people knowing what you did with not wanting to give your phone number out so i asked him is it okay if i make a video and explain the real truth and this mm. is what he said i said i told everybody what you did <laughs> if why are you uncomfortable with everybody knowing that you are unwilling okay, can to I give also people tell, your okay, phone power, number listen can i make a video and tell people the reason i don't give my, my numbers because you research people's private information mm. yep go ahead and tell them that okay. go ahead and tell mm. them okay that. it's actually power a dumb nigga or something bro like is he that consumed or is this nigga like bipolar like is he just does he not see that almost anyone with a coherent brain would be able to understand why someone wouldn't want to do that you know some people be out of touch like but i don't know man crazy knowing what he has done when you send your clan members pictures of their house and creep them out and make them feel look uncomfortable it is a very weird situation when you show your other clan members look at this the phone numbers of your clan members it is actually sickening how you've done this clan power and this screenshot right here is disgusting flat out disgusting nothing what make you my bitch anytime bow to your master yo this nigga's gay oh this the ollie nigga hey make sure y'all follow me on twitter nigga
Yeah, I, I, I think I think Power definitely probably a fufu boy, man. Thing about it, this is not a DF member. This right here is his. I be telling y'all, them niggas that be acting fufu, bro, they they most likely got this type of personality trait. Y'all not even hip, nigga. Account Grander who has done his account for the past two to three years. And you can read it. I'm not even gonna say what this says. Disgusting. Howard could act like he never had anything against anybody, but every time he talked to him, and that was one of his fans. Y'all know if this was a different community, people be like, "Oh, you're abusing your power." Imagine if that was a bitch. Oh, you're abusing your power over a female, and that nigga would have got you know me too. You know, but since it's just a a fanned out kid, like no nobody cares. <laughs> A DF member, it was always him dissing other DF members, including him saying I've never known anybody. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, so he hates this solo nigga? That's crazy. That's the leader too. And himself that he hates solo and he don't know how he's gonna lead a clan when he has a member in the clan that he hates. He went on stream and dragged solo before in the past. Do you I'm not remember doing this. it? I'm we not had being a plan. Screened at. He had a plan. You pulled out. You not remember that? Okay, okay. Yes What's or no? Your point? Now before mm. I even go further, I want wait. I gotta, I gotta check on this solo nigga. I seen he dropped a vid. That bitch long as fuck. Y'all want me to check that hoe out and, and put, put, put like some parts and uh, all up into a video. Not in this vid. Well, maybe in this vid. Y'all let me know down below. I want you to remember the trip thing I was just talking about until we pass by to February, okay? Keep that in the back of your mind. The dude literally said he has to do hard tactics and go on stream to get people to do stuff. You have to do hard tactics. We have to go on stream and embarrass you because that's the only way you, you can get embarrass to do, do something you should have been doing. I'm not embarrassed. Oh, yeah, you are. I believe in and everything I say. No man will never make me change. Okay, leave the clan. That's what I'm talking about. Look, talk your shit. We don't know how long you've been being a, a bitch, though. I don't. I don't know, bro. You know, I don't, I don't know, man. But, like, so has this nigga Power been doing this? Like, going on stream, like, talking shit to you niggas? Like, only y'all know? That shit is crazy. And then, if you I'm don't want to share your number with people. So he was lying on my name to get me to do something that I was not comfortable with doing. Now, ever since I joined four years ago, Power has always told me, leave the clan. Anytime I have an issue. <laughs> he just like a bitch, bro. Y'all know them bitches y'all be with every time there's a little issue. They be like, don't be with me then. I'm breaking up with you. Just like a stupid, dumb bitch. Don't, them, them, them be the most manipulating, weird, fucked up people in the world, bro. I can't be with someone like that. It's over. Leave. You leave the clan. He never thought I would leave. That's why he did this. Oh my God. You didn't text me good morning. Oh my God, you, you didn't, you didn't get me food. You didn't bring me food back. You don't think about me. I deserve something like, shut you, get the fuck off of TikTok, bitch. What the fuck is chill, bitch? Like a nigga can't like, like chill, bitch. What the fuck be wrong with these hoes, nigga? And he knows yourself, power. If you are watching this, you know the reason you tell me to leave, 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 leave. Cause you know I wouldn't do it. I didn't mm. want DF to end. I didn't want DF mm. to come to this point, but you left me with no choice. I think a guy like Luck had bad intentions. Power, <laughs> how did I have bad intentions? From all time lowest. I could have betrayed you like you said everyone else did, but that wasn't me. I stayed and I gave you many. I ain't gonna hold you niggas been betraying power since before like DF became cool. Like niggas, every time he got with a nigga, like a duo, that nigga would get the clout and then dip on that nigga, bro. Like literally every single one, like over and over and over and over again. And then I guess that clout got so massive that niggas ain't leave because they wanted to keep eating together type shit. So um, that's probably why he acting like this too, you know, and probably a bunch of other situations. I'm sure that's part of it, but yeah, man. It, it's a crazy world on this internet shit, bro. Any chances to correct every single time you messed up? Every single time. And there was tons of times that you messed up. And you know it. And the reason I did that is because I thought DF was going to be special. But you took that from me. I edited for you. <laughs> and I edited for grinding. I tried helping both of you. But you were too selfish to understand that. You wanted it all to yourself. So who really had the bad intentions? Was it me or was it you, Power? I feel like the person that was really wrong in this situation is like grinding. Grinding, like he was just, he was just wrong. How was grinding wrong? I do not understand. You were 
you're in the wrong and you're trying to pinpoint it on everybody else to make yourself look good. You legit wanted this man to fail. You wanted me to stop him from being able to upload as much as possible. And that I have DMs crazy. to prove it. You wanted me to make up fake vacations. You wanted me to make up a fake iPads. Bro, that shit is crazy. Do y'all know these DF niggas? Um, maybe it was just power, but nigga, they have bl blackballed me. Let's say that from so many thumbnail designers, from so many editors, bro. Like dead ass. Like y'all have no idea, bro. And there's other YouTubers that have blackballed me from certain thumbnail designers and editors, bro. Like just because we don't fuck with each other, they'll make sure their guy don't do shit for me. Like this internet shit, y'all be idolizing these niggas, but all these niggas is weird, bro. Like dead ass, and they do, and you might want to come into it, but you you don't realize like niggas is weird. Like like a nigga will tell me like he gonna do my shit at like three, and then just disappear. After my eye surgery, you knew Grindy's true potential, and you didn't want him to go the furthest that he could in his career, and that's fake of you, especially for mm. somebody like Grindy who has had your back through everything. In 19, when he had the biggest blow up of all time, he was there beside you, but that still was not enough. I've I've had other people that I was cool with take my thumbnail makers to where they don't make me, me make me nails no more because they don't want our shit to be similar and like take my editors take all time I've, that that i've edited because i most of my youtube shit i've had a job like y'all y'all have no idea like like or i've been doing some type of school shit or like you know a bunch of shit so i would need editors at the end of the day i still edited 95 percent of my shit but like you know i always be trying to get niggas but it's tough because and i remember in 2k18 bro i had an editor that was in df right and that nigga was the most unreliable nigga ever so was power telling this nigga to like slow me down and and all this weird shit that's crazy, bro. That is, that that that's like literally crazy, dude. Like that us. Or you always said your worst nightmare was DF coming together and exposing the truth. So now you. Damn, that was his worst nightmare. Finally got what you want, power. And guess what? Now look what this has came to. You are literally the nastiest liar that I have ever met. Why do you feel the need to lie? You always have the nerve to lie. And you know for a fact, when I was your editor, you never had to wait once. I told you mm. myself that you and Grinding hit me up at different times. And that is no issue for me when it comes to editing. You even said it yourself the day after my eye surgery. I finished your mascot video and got it to you the same day. Do you not remember that? Or all the lies that you said in the past blocking the truth was you really looking up niggas numbers on white pages and shit like that no shit? bro like oh. oh so you didn't look up numbers so you denied every single claim until proof was posted this nigga crazy dog when everybody asked you about you leaking double h's house and y'all know there is a lot of spaces about this shit and that nigga kept saying no to everything and then later nigga got disproved bro niggas are massive a compulsive liar. All you said was you did it once. But if you did it once, how come in these screenshots there's different dates? You can look right here and you could look right here. And then when what Uzi the asked fuck? you about ours, so he's like threatening his clan members, bro. What the? What the? <laughs> and you had the nerve to say me and you did it. Power. You literally randomly DM me the screenshots and I asked you what's wrong. Like, is he okay? Come on, bro. Stop lying. You've done this multiple. Him leaking Solo's personal social media. What? Time. All you do is lie, and then once you finally get caught up, you want to admit to your wrong and say, oh, oh my God. Like, stop it. You know what I mean? You do dirt in the dark, like eventually it comes to the light. Everything comes to the light eventually. Mm. I'm a different person than I was two years ago in that clip. Are you really a different? That nigga, power will never change. You know, you know what power should have did? That nigga should have stood 10 toes. That nigga would have, you know what? Nothing's going to happen to power. His shit might even be more popping. He going to find some new niggas and them niggas going to blow the fuck up. Y'all know that, right? Because in this weak ass community, this is not even the weirdest. This is probably the least weird community. Y'all don't even know that. Niggas be talking all this trash about 2K, but y'all don't realize every other community is way worse, bro. I swear to God, y'all are just not in it. So you have no idea, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Pay attention. 
follow these little uh media outlets for like every little game like you'll see them niggas is weird like weird shit be happening and racism all types of stuff racism don't happen in 2k because most of the niggas is black they fuck with basketball and shit like that like it's extremely rare but every other game is stupid racist so if a game racist it's automatically more toxic than the games that aren't racist period the reason people don't think that and they think shit talking is more toxic is because well not because i mean just look at the world trump was elected the world is still racist that's why you know people are comfortable with race that's why all this shit's still happening but no, nah, bro, if Power stood 10 toes and was like, fuck you niggas, and he was going back and forth with him and all this shit, and he was like, man, and he embraced being a supervillain, that nigga would be at it one mil right now. If he embraced being a supervillain, nigga, he would be at it one mil right now, nigga. Niggas would be sucking that nigga dick hard, heavy, nigga. Niggas like that shit, you know? But now that he's showing weakness, niggas is gonna put their foot on their necks. Unless he's trying to go with the, oh, I'm gonna, I'm a Hannah Baker route, you know, then like they might not OOD. Some niggas will, you know, but you know, it, it's all master manipulation, you know, maybe that, I, I don't know. For a person of two years ago, or are you just saying that because nothing was coming out? Once everything came out and people started coming out and approaching you about it, all you did was lie. You kept acting like you didn't know what was happening. Power, you know what, what, the what you did. If I'm not going to even read these screenshots. They are disgusting. You can read the screenshots. You can pause the video. The but Power, fuck? it's sad. It really is. Why did you want the the the, the DF members login info for their Twitter? Ooh. The the members that they're posting screenshots, look. I don't even know, bro. I don't even know if this is referring to at this point. This is this. So that's not true? You never had none of their login info? I've never had Lex info. So you never had my info, but you somehow had the power to contact my little brother and find out what I was doing in my personal life. Ended up. What the fuck? This nigga power contacted this nigga's little brother because that's his editor. And he wants to see what he's doing in real life. That's crazy. That's some micromanaging. Like what? Like what? What? What's your brother doing? Uh, like what? That's crazy, bro. Found his little brother's dog. Look, look, look at this manipulation. I want your Twitter. To... Look, and then even Hank tweeted out some shit that Power asked for his Twitter info. That's crazy. So that nigga probably be monitoring all these different people's Twitters just so someone doesn't snake him. This nigga's an evil villain, nigga. Look what this nigga Hank tweeted out. Not gonna lie, I think I remember Power asking for my Twitter info. Also when I was in HG in 2K17. So if y'all didn't know, Power wasn't as clouded as he used to be, bro. You know? But Hank... You know, he had a super blow up in 17 and he juiced the fuck out that nigga and all them niggas, bro. Like OD. That's crazy, bro. I'm wanting my Twitter because you quote unquote like me. You were disappointed because I wasn't going to give you it. You pressured mm. me and I gave you it. Then you tried to say that you never logged into my info once you Damn. got caught in your lie, but power. I. Oh, shit. What's that? North Carolina? And that's where that nigga said he lived. That's crazy. You don't live here. And you claim you never had Double H's info. Oh, was that necessary? I never had the Double H's info. At this point, <laughs> it's just a non-stop lying circus. It is ridiculous. Now, I know you may be thinking I'm lying how he wanted grinding to fail and that he wanted me to not edit for grinding because how long they were friends for. But it's actually the truth. This dude really did not want to see people succeed as much as he claimed he did. Yeah, he got a little bit happy, but he also got a little bit happy when his friends were failing. And you can hear it. I'm just going to play these voice messages. So it's like power was building people up to build himself up. Here, here's what y'all don't understand. In groups, bro, if someone starts to get up to you and clout, bro, and all that shit, you're gonna see the real them. Like, you know, um, Dame Dash, Jay-Z, you, you seen what happened, you know? A lot of the times when niggas get like made by someone and then they start to come closer, and or like they could stand on their own or they surpass you know people start to act in different 
or like he loses his control with them so he was viewing grinding like he wants him to blow up because of course it helps him and everyone else but he thinks that oh if this guy passes me he's gonna leave the clan or, and he's gonna convince others to go with him and make whatever he wants to make. We already know grinding was way more entertaining than power and shit like that. So it's like, it's a lot deeper than, that's why he he wanted him to succeed, but not that much. Like, the, you know, the y'all you know the quote, they wanna see you doing good, just not better than them. And, it, and it's deeper than that, cause he wants to control people. So these niggas getting so big and shit, you know, he's not going to be able to control people. Y'all can see he's like a, a real micromanaging freak. If niggas got as much clout as them, they're not going to listen, bro. They're not going to deal with that shit, bro. Like, it, it, it's just not going to happen, bro. So, the nigga probably started freaking out and shit. And niggas, niggas can stand on their own. So, it's like, niggas is niggas not dealing with it no more. Okay, so here's the thing. Have you ever lied about not editing for grinding and you were editing for him? Like, have you ever said, yeah, I'm at the Dells or <laughs> you're at some place, but you're low-key editing for grinding? Not true. I, I recall you told me one time that you had to tell him um, that you couldn't edit, but you have edited all his past videos. So, I mean, you lied about not editing for him when you actually did edit for him. So, let me know. Then let me ask you a question that you gotta tell the truth to now. Do you think he will pass me before the end of 2K20? Grinding has been doing YouTube for three years. He never ever uploaded consistently. That's why I'd be mad at you 24 seven. So what Power be asking this nigga for video ideas? He be accusing, Power did you accuse this luck nigga for giving grinding ideas or special treatment? That shit is crazy bro. Instantly until you became his editor. I stayed ahead of him this entire year because I- Every day talking about grinding. I was able to upload more consistently, quicker than he had. Now that you're editing for him, he has the same advantage I do. So it's your fault. The special treatment is you just- This, this ain't no competition shit. This is a, uh, this is like, this is envy, jealousy type of shit. Y'all, y'all don't understand it. Edit his videos and you don't talk about any other shit. That's the special treatment. What you need to do is do things slowly, but you can't do it because you can't handle yourself. You need to edit, but you need to become slowly <sighs> less and less available. And then this is crazy, eventually be so bro. less available where he decides to hit somebody else up on his own. First step, do the video, but don't do it as fast. Take some time, rest, relax. Do what you do nice. on my videos. Instead of <laughs> doing it in like 30 minutes, why don't you take like two or three hours? Yo, and if you ever ask like, what's been taking you so long? Like, why is it suddenly taking you so long? Then tell him about your problems. He hates that. He was like, I had liked him better when he was just talking about his edits. So just hit him with the, oh, I've been depressed. Tell him some like stuff. Oh, yo, you just gave shit? me an idea. We can just make up a fake vacation. So just be like, yo, we could have used the fake vacation to avoid and slow gotten it down for a whole week. Well, you can't, you can't be as productive <laughs> as you are now. You can get it. You can do what you do. This is crazy, you bro. You slow it down and slow walk it. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? We can affect them a little bit. I know what you said, but like I said, no trusting, just verifying. So I'm going to watch what you do. And if you don't, don't make me kick you out of the clan, my guy. <laughs> this is crazy. This is how these niggas be doing, niggas, bro. Don't want to do that to you. Don't make me end you. I have so much <laughs> stuff under my sleeve that I don't do because I'm really nice. But you know what I'm saying? I could, I could, I could make so much trouble. You know what I mean? Like, I can initiate so many chargebacks. It'd be a shame if your PayPal was like very in the negative. But the truth is, we need to know if you're loyal, if you're dedicated, if you're really all in. How do I know if you're all in? Offer yourself a sacrifice. How is it scary when I've <laughs> never ever done anything to your number? Nothing like. Bro, this nigga power could start a fucking religion, man. Y'all niggas will fuck with this shit. This nigga, this nigga. You got to be scared. Like I'm gonna do something. There's no reason to be scared, as long as you listen to me, look. But I do want to get. There's no reason to be scared, as long as you listen to me, nigga. What I want, and those are the conditions. They're not conditional. They're that's what's gonna happen. Bro, don't be dumb. He's not hitting you up to check on you. He's hitting you up to build in and to asking you for the video. See, Power is speaking facts because he knows about the manipulation, bro. Because he's one of those. 
It's straightforward, bro. All you gotta do is tell him, listen, just had a surgery. Afterwards, my eyes are light sensitive. Tell him your first surgery got messed up because you had some issues and now you have to wear an iPad. And if you look at a computer screen or something like that for too long, don't that LASIK surgery, isn't that shit like 99% like going to work and shit? It may risk your recovery and you may have to go back and get another surgery. So on Twitter, when you went into space, you told everybody that we had a monthly editing deal and you threatened to refund the money because I never got the videos done on time. But in this screenshot right here, I told you, you guys never hit me up at the same time. You literally told me you remember me getting the video to you the day after my eye surgery. And another thing that Power denied is trying to get Solo and Chad banned for boosting. When they weren't wow. even boosting, everyone... So those are two niggas in DF. He's trying to get him banned for boosting, bro. What the fuck? Knows how you did this, Power. You wanted me to get on a backup account and go and sell games and have other people do it while you would what? sit on the sidelines and clip them, which I did not do. What? Then after it, you tried to make me put together a video. This nigga's a demon. You know, y'all, y'all young and dumb niggas with no dads, you bastard children. Stop using demon as a term of endearment. Stop using this of hell. Stop using evil things as terms of endearment. You fucking morons, bro. Then, when you're sitting there asking God for help, or God, like, nigga, ain't no one gonna help you, you're calling yourself a demon. Do y'all know what a demon is? Do you know what that is? It's not a good thing, bro. If you're good at a game, say you're a god, say you're an angel. You know, something pure and good. Don't call yourself a demon. That's weird. If you keep calling yourself a demon, why would you be given blessings, bro? I'm not even religious, bro. I'm more spiritual and I know this nigga so and all that. Like, it's like a whole trend, but I've been saying that since I was like a kid, nigga. But look, listen, listen, bro. Stop saying this of hell. Like, be, do good stuff. Like, say the good things, okay? These are like certain words and shit you don't wanna like play with, bro. Stop saying demon say only call like oh like you bitch ass nigga you a demon shut your like you know like like shit like that don't don't do it someone start like you're a god you're an angel like you know you're you are like trust me bro like do your research man like it's not good i keep telling people but i'm not making no change i don't got enough clout bro I'm trying to tell y'all stop then you're not my friend you kicked me from the clan blocked me on twitter so i sent you a message and you replied with a quote and a paragraph you said a friend to all is a friend to none you even said in this screenshot right here you said i am not willing to be friends with people who won't pick me it's not negotiable then right here Damn. you also said i'm not controlling you you are your own person you make your decisions but you can't get mad at me for making decision for me and my clan too so that just proves you abused your powers as a leader he said decisions have consequences it's like the tweet may upset solo but not tweeting it upset me too so that's your choice so you can see when i say this i'm not lying this has been going on for a long time and i've told solo about this no df has not been perfect throughout the ride but we have put up with a lot of stuff just to make df successful for the four years that we have put in look this, this, this is what i be trying to tell people man even females niggas all these groups bro they all have extreme issues bro there's no relationship on this world that is perfect, bro. It's all extreme issues. All these perfect friendships y'all see online, these perfect relationships that y'all see online, bro, the nigga probably beating that bitch. That bitch is probably ruining that nigga life every day. Nigga, it is a facade. It is a dream. They're selling you a dream because they know that's what people want, bro. So when y'all start to become envious and idolize that shit and you'd be like why is in my life like theirs why is it my group like theirs why is in my relationship like theirs then you start to have resentment for your niggas or your partner therefore you're ruining the relationship you have with them people because you're comparing it to someone that is selling you a fucking dream you're a fucking idiot bro if you can't handle the internet 
and understand it's a fucking matrix. Get off the internet into it now if you didn't know df has been on the urge of ending so many times so on january 31st of 2022 power told me this power said i may be leaving df soon i have kind of a two-week notice type thing so i'm giving up quote unquote all the big six advanced notice so you could be prepared if it does happen regardless it's been a great run and i appreciate what we have built then he had the nerve to ask me later on in that day he said are we friends or business partners that's what we got to decide i said and me and you are everyone i'm friends i'm sorry i don't look at someone and think business partners that's rude he said if you are friends there's gonna be an argument people are gonna do shit you don't like which i completely agree on that's a part of life but i said right here i said if we are business partners we are using each other and that's bad he said if we are business partners i could be fake professionally 24 7 and nobody will argue. you see what he's doing this is master manipulation bro and he's struggling with himself you know He's trying to justify all this shit he does. Like, oh, we're friends. We're supposed to argue. But if we're business partners, I could just keep lying to you guys and being fake. That's why he's lying all the time. On Like, you see? Like, come on, man. Like, this shit deep, dog. Argue. Now, honestly, there's tons of more things that he's done. And I know you may be thinking that, that we're doing this for clout. But honestly, we're doing this to expose what he's really like. Nobody really knew what he was like, including myself. Only mm. thing that I knew he has ever done was research my personal information. And on top of that, do the grinding situation. Which I had no option to not say anything because blackmail me. He held it against me and told me he would end me. And it's really nothing that I... Blackmailed him. I wonder with what could do he had the platform and he could really end people he could actually deny every single thing that was said and that's what he tried to do against ollie and if you didn't see it i'm not reading these screenshots you can read every single screenshot but i'm warning you now you might get sick by reading these but i could go on for hours upon hours upon hours but i'm not gonna hey man anywho man make sure y'all like that video man comment down below i made it through the full video if you made it through this full video you hearing my voice right now make sure y'all subscribe if you do man Follow a young nigga on Twitch, man. Support your boy. Follow a young nigga on Twitch. Help me hit 108K. And, um, yeah, appreciate love all your niggas. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to react and cover any more of this DF drama. There is a bunch. Let me know down below. DM me on Twitter, whatever. I'll follow y'all on Twitter. Just hit me well, up. Hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this for when this hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me, now break it down, yo, off the top of the dome, dome.